A letter to Ted Chang. Over the weekend, I saw Arrival, the film adaptation of your short story, Story of Your Life. I enjoyed your story, but this post is about the movie. I liked how personal it was with its touch at deep scientific questions or theories about time and consciousness, loss and companionship. Some people had trouble with the perceived deus ex machina in Act 3, where Luis gets help from a future instance to resolve the boiling conflict in the present. This was preceded by a seemingly missing explanation as to how the heptapods knew there was not a mutual allegiance between the nations of Earth, thus their decision to send 12 monoliths. I didn't have trouble here, as it is easy to imagine how, understanding the tapestry of time, However hidden to us, the heptapods would have seen the existing conflicts between humans, although this could lead into rabbit holes about how much access they had to human affairs. The scene where Luis meets the heptapods helped. She walks on what I perceive to be a white landscape of valleys and peaks. This later made me consider Paul Artrades from Dune and his discussions with the guild masters where he shows them possibilities of a universe without spice, with his finger on the button. I felt Luis's future scene was similar to Paul's prescience. This view meddles with determinism and free will, but still allows for multiple paths across a tapestry or landscape. I think David Deutsch's The Beginning of Infinity as a nonfiction and for fiction, Neil Stevenson's Anathem are good studies of quantum narratives, a currently valid theory. I looked around online and found the words in the Chinese Louis shares with the Chinese leader in the present. The line translates to, in war, there are no winners, only widows. After the movie, I brought up that we didn't know in the future present that is, 18 months in a possible Luis's future, whether the Chinese general's wife was still alive or not. This line confirms for the movie that in a possible future, the Chinese leader would die before his wife, presumably because he started a worldwide conflict. In my interpretation of the movie, Luis navigates this potential threat and decides to take it, and then knows the right thing to say in her somewhat human rigid present. By the way, this is similar to Paul in Dune, following vast threads or clouds of future time, but still arriving at key moments in his present. There is still free will in the soft sense, in that Luis can choose uh, what path to take. She decides to have a baby, preferring the joy of a life with relationships, even if it is short-lived. Her daughter dies and her husband leaves her, because of the decision and outcome she knew that was coming to one without relationships. Overall, I love the palindromic daughter's name, Hannah, and this was the moment where I understood the conceptualization of flat time for the heptapods and its structural impact on the film. The film opens and closes like Cloud Alice's nested Russian dolls. It also, the movie, has philosophical questions delivered cleanly. And now a dialogue. If you could see the rest of your life, would you live it in the same way? Asks Louise to Renner. I think I'd say the things I mean more. To which she responds, I've looked up at the stars. Actually, this is Renner continuing. I've looked up at the stars but meeting them wasn't the greatest thing. The greatest thing was meeting you. So, Ted, thanks for a great short story and whatever influence you had on making the film. Best, Eric. And as a note, I did find this comment online for those of you who are interested in the science. Fragmented time in Arrival is very different from Interstellar as Louise actually experiences simultaneously living in different times. The concept is deep, and if you know any uh, physics and read 10 
excuse me, Ted Chiang's story, you will know that this is an open problem in physics, also known as variational principles and causality and teleology. Thanks again, Ted, and I'll see all of you next time for another love letter to authors of fiction.